Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe hour. We are jumping in again and we are going to jump in. Oh dude, I didn't realize we're on a three win streak. Baby, that feels good. But we are going to jump in as Tainted Bethany. Of course, we haven't played as Tainted Bethany yet and I am excited to give uh, her a go because she is pretty goddamn good um, on average. Pretty goddamn good. We got Scorpio and we got the Compass, both of which I'm reasonably happy with. Uh, but yeah, all about keeping our wisps alive. We want to be heavily checking the shop because there is an item from one of the mod packs I use called the Flechette, I think it's called, that gives uh, our wisps double HP, which is very, very strong as this character. So we will be very much aiming to get that. Also, very welcome to get the double hearts there and the soul heart. Uh, we also got Minos here, which is pretty awesome. So far, so goddamn good. Uh, yeah, this character, overall, very, very strong, but can ha can suffer a little bit if you run out of wisps but generally i find it fairly easy to keep your wisps alive it's something that you've got to maintain i've just been itching my ear right now it's something you've got to kind of maintain and, and think about constantly but realistically i don't think it's all that hard to actually um actually keep the majority of your wisps alive obviously it depends uh, match to match but for the most part pretty good red hearts of course can be used as charges which is Real goddamn nice. Uh, boom, boom, bow. Pop another one of those. We got um, Fittus Fortune. There's going to be some items that I just don't know because I don't recognize them by name. Fittus Fortune is, of course, one of those. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the hell that, that is. Uh, but, hey her. Uh, maybe we can do this, actually. Um, so much chance to spawn a random pickup on killing chance. Okay, so we, we can actually see what we get based on that. So we get a small chance to get... Um, a drop. 35% chance, I think it is, if I remember correctly, to get a drop on killing a champion. Which is pretty darn good, actually. Okay, I'm going to have to hold off here for a second. Minos is doing a real good job of hitting this enemy. Circling exactly around it and not touching it. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Remote detonate is pretty good because it's plus five bombs. I think I'm just going to take that. Um, especially because we have two bombable things on this floor and we had no bombs. It's pretty valuable for us. Good, good. We'll see what we got going on in here. That's actually a pretty goddamn good thing. So, do you know what? I'm just going to take it. I spent 15 cent on, on um, five bombs. It's not the best deal in the world, but oh, goddamn, I'll take it. I've just eaten. And apparently, speaking after having just eaten doesn't agree with me. Got a crawl space as well. This is a good first floor. A good first one. Now, this is a situation in which we might lose wisps. Hmm. But I do want number two. Okay, we did. We took. We took some wisp damage there. But for number two, it's very worth it because number two is literally infinite bombs, which is cannot be understated how good that goddamn is. Um, secret room. Secret room. Where art thou? Where art thou secret room? <clears throat> um, hmm. Not entirely sure where it might be. Yeah, kind of a slightly annoying room there. Got this as well. That's that soul heart back, lovely. <clears throat> um, I guess we'll check here. And we'll check... Here? Wait, no, it can't be there. Um, Got to be, like, here, then? There we go. Good, good, good. That's nice. Spawn some enemies. We can deal with that. Enemies can open our business like this aren't great for us. Oop, wrong thing. Silver flesh is pretty good. <clears throat> kind of unlucky on this, though. Half soul heart there from Silver Flesh. Lovely. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, we might as well do this as well, actually. Why not? Why the heck not? And it's boss time now. As well as potentially second secret room time, which I think would be here. Bit of a slow floor, but I'm playing it to our advantage. I think it's worth it. Okay, that's good. Not going to be as good as Bob's Rotten Head for outright damage, but overall, 
pretty damn good. Just gotta remember that butt bombs gonna be lying around. Gotta be aware of those. Pretty easy to uh, for us to avoid. Good, good. Nice damage from that guy. Oh, actually, we can use red hearts for our um, Balrog's head as well, which is really nice. This unfortunately isn't great. We did get a red heart out of it though. And yeah, we'll just go down to the next floor. Try and maybe do Mega Satan, I think. That would be a, a good one to go for. Mega Satan would be a good one to go for indeed. Um, get another charge here. We've not lost a Wisp yet, but that could change quickly. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now, you do have a 25% chance to get an item based on the room that you're in. Mad Onion's good. Based on the room that you're in. So, like, if I'm in a secret room, the item has a 25% chance to be a secret room item. I'm not going to super heavily rely on that. That's that just... It is what it is. <clears throat> uh, I can't remember what that does. Ah, not that bothered about that. Minus. Try and hit things a little more actively if you could. As for the question of the day to day, hmm, what's the most overpowered thing you've ever seen in a game? In general, what's the most overpowered thing you've ever seen in a game? For me, it's the, like, for, for the games that I play, it's definitely like there's a toss up between a few different things. The, I, I used to play a lot of Warzone 1, um, and in that game, the added, um, the, the integrated uh, Call of Duty Cold War into Warzone, and the added uh, all of the guns from Cold War into the game, and one of them was called the DMR-14, and that was probably one of the most overpowered weapons I've ever seen in, um, in, a, uh, like, a multiplayer game. That was, that was kind of ridiculous. I'll take this. Not as bad as it used to be. Fire, it's obviously a bit shocking now, but Mysterious Liquid's lovely. It's fine. Um, yeah, that was probably one of the most overpowered things I've seen in an online multiplayer game. Basically, they added a DMR, which is like a, a semi-automatic rifle that dealt nearly sniper rifle damage and had sniper rifle piercing rates, could have up to a 40-round magazine and could fire at the rate of an assault rifle if you had a fast enough trigger finger. It was absolutely ludicrous how strong it was. And, like, because it had the piercing values of a sniper rifle, you could, um... You could, like, shoot at a helicopter or car that was driving by, and it would just... The bullets would just glide right through it and kill everyone inside. It was abs... It was just absolutely mental. And it was, like, it didn't get nerfed for, like, a solid two months either. It was... It was really, really rough. <laughs> it was really fun to use, but goddamn, yeah, it was it was pretty rough. Oh, dude, these guys are uh, trying to take my wispies away. I'm liking the items we have right now from our wisps. I know that they're not going to stick around forever, but so far I quite like them. Uh, the intruder, pretty nice. Intruder is pretty good. What are you doing there, Mr. Dolphin Man? Gotcha, we gotcha. Um, picking up a Red Heart sufficient chance to give you a bonus. It's rather nice. Plus one luck, I guess. Why not? Yeah, pretty, pretty happy with how things are panning out right now. But yeah, it's always interesting to hear what, like, overpowered things are, are in different video games. Because, like, there's a ton of, obviously, games that I've not played that have probably got way more overpowered things than that that I don't know about. I, I just lost a, a Lemmageddon Wisp. I'm not quite sure what it was um, at this moment in time. Do you know what? This, this room looks like absolute cancer. This room is ultra gross. That, that was horrible. <laughs> Never again, thank you. Never again. Uh, do you know what? I will I will throw some bombs in here. See if we get anything good. Not exactly crazy, but a bit of extra money is rather nice. A bit of extra money goes a long way, especially when we've got a shop here. That, actually, yeah, we'll go, we'll go to the shop. Why not? Why the heck not? Like I said, we want to be looking for this flechette thing wherever possible. Coin flip, we don't want as a uh, as our current thing right now because we have a good active. Decent. We'll definitely take the soul heart. And we'll keep on moving along. 
I'll try and use this whenever it's ready because it is pretty valuable. Dude, we're going to get so much health from this silver flesh thing until it disappears. Every time that little sort of circular shot, little hollow shot, it kills an enemy on on contact, it gives us um, a, a half soul heart. It's, it's pretty goddamn good. Pretty goddamn good. Celestial crown, nice. Celestial crown's really good. Different tier effects based on, um, oh god. Based on a few different factors and like which one that we shoot through. Overall, it's good shit. So this guy's going to sit in these fires for a good amount of time here. Oh, what the hell? I accidentally blew myself up. I'm not exactly sure how there. Uh, number... I completely forgot I had number two. My bad. Top hat's pretty good here. Top hat. Cool, and we shall keep her going. Probably should have used that in the angel deal uh, when we when we got around to it. Yeah, well, it's fine. Oh, we got Steven straight away. Nice, good to know. Um, can head over to the Steven floor if we like. We should get our angel deal this floor, hopefully. Nice punch there. We get ourselves toy drum. Pretty good stuff. Don't jump away from the fires. Jump into the fires. You know you love it. You know you love it. I'm liking having a compass right now as well. Compass is, is pretty useful. I gotta remember I've got number two. It's because of all the uh, like various extra items we got, I keep forgetting. Need to remember. It's also there's a lot of visual stuff on screen with all my wisps covering up the bomb when it gets dropped. Roll of film. Not amazing. Good, but we are we are like speeding through right now. I could just tap shoot and then use it when use the bombs when I need to. That might be my my, my more preferable method right now, just to make sure I don't mess up. There's another half soul heart. Wow. I really think the half soul heart should fade over time. Like if you don't get to them quick enough, they disappear. Because otherwise the item is just so insanely strong. It's so goddamn good. Not that I want it to be nerfed, but... <laughs> um, morbid Heart on use. I don't think that does anything for us, really, does it? I mean, I guess I'll pick it up and see. Yeah, it doesn't do anything for us. Dad's Wallet. Items in the shop now flicker as though they were tainted Isaac. Um, items in the shop now cost five cent more. That's kind of an interesting trinket. Unfortunately, we can't reach it. But I like the idea behind that. Basically, they swap and cycle between two different items, but they cost a little more because of that. I kind of like that. I think that's pretty pretty nice. Good, good. I'm liking having Celestial Crown for all these tier effects. But yeah, we're, we're already at max HP now. And we've got, like, pretty goddamn good damage as well. Like, this is a, a pretty stonking good run. And this is what I mean, like, I've spoken to people before that don't really rate Tainted Lilith, as uh, Tainted um, Bethany that much, because they find it difficult to keep her wisps alive. And, like, I'm not saying it's, like, the easiest thing in the world. You can lose them, but, like, how? Like, I've managed to get so many. Also, we got technology here, which is unexpected. I mean, I lost one there, but... We've got so many. Yeah, technology is definitely a good one to get here. I, I, it does make the Celestial Crown not quite as good. Because we, it's harder to shoot through. But overall, it's good. Still looking for that flechette if we can get it. Unfortunately not. The Bible there is tempting. I will bomb this as well for the slightly higher Angel Chance. It's only 5%, but 5% is pretty decent. And we keep on moving and grooving. Go do our boss, and then we'll come back down and do the... Um, do the Steven floor, because why not? I'm really liking the Steven floor, to be honest. There is some hard rooms there, but um, given if you bring enough money, it's, it's it's a pretty valuable floor to go to, I think, for the most part. Um, and also, we can potentially do some item trades on some of the items we have right now. A few of which aren't very good. 
Like the, the, the health upgrades and stuff that don't really do much for us. There's a bit of a whiff on that there, whoopsie. I did not know he had an attack where he just spawned a bunch of bubbles. I haven't really fought this guy much. Hope for the angel deal here. We did get it, nice. We also got a pretty good item as well. Um, unfortunately, not the best of stats, especially while we've got technology. Two of them are completely useful, but fire rate is good. Spirit Sword, you say? Uh, I... This is, this is difficult, because... Obviously, Spirit Sword isn't great because of the the range that we have to, like, be within to, to make use of it. It means that our, uh, our Wisps are at a higher risk of damage. It's probably not for the best, but Eve's Mascara, like, the the, the fire rate down no longer matters. So I'm more inclined to, to utilize this. So, I don't know. Pretty good. Also, it means I now won't accidentally drop bombs on myself. I think this is overall good, but a little bit risky. Luckily, our range is actually quite, it's quite good. So we're quite a bit further past our, um, Into the Future Blind, many and many more. Rapture be confined. You like that. I wrote it myself. You seem the bright and intelligent type. Well, for someone with a hole in their head. <laughs> nice, okay. Um, yeah, like our range is pretty good, so we're, our, our wisps are at a higher risk, but not a, not a significant risk. Pff, number two. Ain't no way I'm giving you number two. I will bomb you, though. Oh, do you know what? Didn't give me a, a new trade, but you did give me a soul heart, which is pretty, pretty nice of you. But yeah, I think our damage output with Spirit Sword, especially if you can get even more range, is going to be great. They said this was a mini boss room, but this clearly isn't. Kind of weird. We have enough to go into the secret room whenever we uh, come across it, or come across where we think it might be. More so to say. Here, maybe? There you go. We'll go straight in. And unfortunately, we can't afford what he's offering, which I really assumed we would be able to, which is kind of annoying. I could bomb you and potentially get some coins out of you. No. Okay, that's a bit of a whiff. I'll take the card at least and see what it is. It is three bomb pickups. Three of it is what it is. Okay, not ideal. Not ideal. I can't remember, is there an item room on this floor? I can't remember. Little monster, ain't he cute? See, Kinder Egg, good, that's just a HP up. We'll definitely trade that. And we get piercing, plus a speed upgrade. Piercing obviously doesn't matter that much, but the speed upgrade's nice. Impress. Good. I think it's you get the item trays instead of an item room on this floor. Which is why I'm doing all the rooms right now. I'm liking the technology we've got with the, uh, the lightsaber style thing we got going. It's quite nice. Move in. Does that not count as an explosion? Weird. I thought it did. Right, keep it moving. What we got going on in here? Nothing super worthwhile. Okay, all good. And we got my reflection. Which is fantastic for us right now, because that is an absolutely mahoosive ranger. Like, to the point of actually being slightly detrimental um, most of the time, but with this setup, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Grab that as well. Good. You guys are still in the running. Kind of okay that that copper bomb didn't go off there. 
Oh, dude. I forgot he wasn't going around the rocks anymore. My bad. There's a key over there as well I should probably try and get. Yeah. It's all good, baby. It's all good. Good amount of extra money here. Money is going a long way for us right now. What is it you want? Number two again. Nah, I'm going to bomb you. I still want number two just in case. I'm going to get a, tra a trade change. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trade this away. It's potentially good, but I don't know. Make shops free. Unfortunately, that's really just trash for us. Because there's no shops left. We have something that's bashing away shots. Does Spirit Sword normally do that? I don't think it does, does it? And then we get Iron Cart, which isn't Iron Cart the thing that we're about to get for beating this boss. This is going slightly, slightly crazy. We got it. We're good. Oh no, we got speed up. Weird. Um, yeah, speed up, I guess. Cycle protection's pretty decent for us here. And then, yeah, I think we just go. Good, good, good. Okay, pretty happy with how this run's going so far for a, a nice little spirit sword run. I think it's got some good elements to it. Wow. And we are doing Buku damage, baby. The virus. The sun is something I will just use now. Here comes the sun. Ah, bugger. It's going to be hard to kind of use number two. Maybe I should have just traded it away. It is what it is. I didn't realize we had a shop on this floor as well, actually, so I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, that is, it's going to be kind of hard to use because of the my reflection shots. What I've got to kind of do is like sit like here. Okay, that time it worked just fine, of course. There you go, finally. T took a little bit of doing, but we got it. We got two cards here, um, both of which cost 10. We don't need to grab those right now, so I'll, I'll try and remember to come back to those. I want to see what our shop has to offer first. Rainbow Worm. Don't think Rainbow Worm does much for us. Actually, to be fair, I think it can increase our range, although I think our range is probably at a point where we're pretty happy with it now. Oh, dude, that's so frustrating. I think I've got to, like, hold it far away and then come back in and... Yeah. Okay. We've got seven keys. We can get into here nice and easy. Eternal Heart there. We're getting a few of those. Wow. Health is crazy, this floor. Bag of Seeds. Oh, we got these little fellas. Okay. Unfortunately, wasn't Bag of Seeds something that made us crash last time? I'm really hoping that's not going to be the case again. But we can't really do much about it. Unless I can specifically get rid of Bag of Seeds. Dogtooth is good. Um, again, check out a shop first. Glass Cannon. No, thank you. Uh, I might be able to specifically get rid of Bag of Seeds. I can see it on the outer edge there. Take care of you guys. And then... Nah, it's not going to be easy. We did get a golden pill here. That was terrible. Lovely. Oh, damn it, bomb. Dog tooth, I will take. And let's go back and get one of these cards, shall we? C 
see what's on offer. There's so much health on this floor. Do we have a sack room here? No, sadly not. Misprinted Joker. So Misprinted Joker is going to be rerolls items in the room into devil items. Has a small chance to convert them into holy or devilish themed hearts and chests. Pretty good overall. So much HP. Right. To go. Unfortunately, I missed out on boss rush because I was being a, a silly goose. Dog tooth helping us out here. So we got ourselves a soul of Lilith, which I like. Willow, lovely. We got ourselves a soul of Cain, and we got ourselves two of these. Nice. Not sure where best to use my Soul of Cain, to be honest. Keep on thinking. Keep on thinking. I don't really see a, a, a decent spot for it, to be honest. Maybe... Maybe here? Yeah. Okay, nice. I'm happy. Do not like these enemies very much. Proptosis. Oh, god damn. Our damage now is going to be pretty insane. And we get ourselves the Sneezies. Unfortunately, isn't very good for us, but I will take it. I guess actually it's not bad because we do, we do spam fire, so it does mean we sneeze fairly regularly. I don't think we need that. Right. There's also another red room here that we might as well check out. Yeah, our damage is ludicrous now. This is a pretty insane run. Go back and get our misprinted joker. Don't exactly know where I'm going to use that misprinted joker right now. We'll find it. We'll find a place for it, I guess. We'll find a place. I do. I, I do have another one of these things that we've already found our ultra secret room now, so it's not necessary to mess around with that. Yeah. It's quite a lot of damage. Um, and then we're going to go... I guess we just go Polaroid because we have the uh, the health to facilitate Polaroid's effect. I'm going to keep on moving down. Might even be able to do Hush this run, but Hush, Hush is probably going to be a Wisp killer. But yeah, to think the fact that I still have Compass that was my first ever Wisp. Kind of crazy. Which one... Good. Good. Oh, I need to click my hand. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of... I want to, but I'm kind of scared to. Fuck her off. You guys are just wisp killers. So, Cretion doesn't really do much for us, unfortunately. It's a hold down thing. We don't want to be holding down at all. I actually got hit there. What the hell? What even hit me? Good, good. Pride pin. Nice. Yeah, I'll try hush. It could be it could be a risk, but I'll try it. Unfortunately, smelter here is not super valuable for us, and I think the money is slightly more valuable. Then we're gonna have a shop next. My boss man is over here. Sadly, not this way though. I should be getting red hearts. Really, it's more charges. 
shouldn't be just leaving about. Really? The game absolutely fooled on me there? Thank you for that. That wasn't really in line of where I wanted it to be. Yeah. But moving down to the boss. Weird path to the boss, this is. Very weird path to the boss. Oh, speed upgrade there? Why not? Black Goma. Defib. Bloody annoying ass enemies. Like this way now. Like I said, glad we managed to keep Compass around. Pretty useful. Ooh. Nice heart there, like that. Why not grab this? Mom's contact in there as well. Free lemonade? I mean, I guess we don't have an active right now, so why not? It's not a good active, but it's an active. Nice one. Empty page has been unlocked. We did get a devil deal here rather than an angel deal. We got brimstone. I think I should take brimstone. Yeah, I like that. That's a, a custom modded synergy. Very down to clown with that. Let's do hush. We've got spirit sword and brimstone as standard. Wow. That's a pretty good haul. Wow, we also got that as well. This might be where I want to use Misprinted Joker if I get... Yeah, like, this This is two very bad items. So Misprinted Joker will go with Devil's Dagger here. It's a good use of it there, I think. And then here, pff, neither are good, but I guess I'll take Leprosy. Then... Glizzy is, is like, all stats up. This, I guess I take Glizzy here. Oh, wait, they're all free. Okay, nice. Take this as well. Gift card is useful. Um, Sin rubs. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I think I just found an insane synergy here. Because all my items are free. Oh no. I had a f I, I was like maybe they'll they'll be free on the on the reroll as well. Sadly not. That would have been crazy. We could take sulfur for double brimstone. Oh, we can actually afford it unfortunately. Uh we don't need tears up, so there's no point buying that. What what's what's this 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 page of something? While held the only boss room items that can appear are ones that modify damage. Pretty good, but not useful for us anymore. That's pretty good, but not useful for us anymore. You know what? Let's, let's bomb it before we run out of money. Ah, uh, pretty unfortunate there, really. Pretty unfortunate. It is what it is. Right. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I imagine he's going to get absolutely destroyed here. I'm really liking the Brimstone synergy, because this is completely new to me. This is a, a modded custom synergy from James's mods. But yeah, we're just knocking back shots and stuff. We should do pretty well here. Shouldn't be able to destroy too many. And then we've got Circular Protection as well, which is literally protecting my Lemmageddon Wisps for the most part. All good, man. It's all good. Yeah, we're killing him very fast. I'm trying to stay as close as I can because we do have Proptosis, which means the closer we can get, the more damage we're going to do.
Why was I ever worried about this? This is the freest hush fight I've ever done. Have some lemonade as well, why not? Let's get move ourselves away a little bit here. That lemonade's sticking around for a goddamn while, goddamn. Well, there you go, there's that done. There's that done, and we are going up. Good, good, good. Straight to the boss, I love that. Hey Isaac, bye Isaac. I guess I'll take perfection at this point. And then we go through here. See what items we get. Three dollar bill is good. I do have a boss portal there. I'll take it, yeah, why not? Now, this guy does have some boss armor, so he's not going to be a, an insta-kill, but it's still going to be quick. Lovely. Dag is his hat. Nice. Make our way back. Hemolacria. Does that do anything for us? I don't think it does, does it? And now it's just a try and get more um try and get more chests. Really should pick be picking up all that red stuff as well. Okay, so Hemolacria is doing some stuff every now and again. Whenever I fire a shot and it lands. It's pretty pretty awesome actually. Pop. Oh god damn. Pop is doing some stuff. Pop is actually kind of lagging the game quite badly. Nah, almond milk, I'm sorry, but you're fun, but when I've already got unlimited fire rate, it makes zero sense to take you. Shoop de woop. It's a shame that these don't fire brimstones when they pop, but at the same time, I kind of understand why they don't. I kind of want to get rid of pop, because it's, it's, it's going to make our fights a lot laggier. Probably do more damage, but laggier, definitely. You okay, boss? Isle of Bones. Excuse me, bomb. Why'd you move? There's a secret room. I'll be coming back to that in just a moment. Feel a duplex. Right, open this up. Then we do this, and we come over here. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, I will take seven seals, considering I just got given two extra soul hearts. If I hadn't have been given that, there'd be no way I'd have taken that. Right, go back over here. I don't like these fucking trinkets being in my way. Open this in here and get golden ropes. We can full card to get back a bit quicker actually here now. Then we come back over here and we go like that. Sadly, bit of a whiff on that one. Thing makes this move like a robot, I don't like it. And last one. For the R key. 
No, we did get sausage though. Wicked soul. Curse of the Tower. Great. Great one to get right at the end there. Right. Let's go. My god. This run do be a strong boy. Pop is definitely causing a lot of issues. Like, I can't even fire. I think it's partially because of Mysterious Liquid as well. I don't think that's helping. We got Forever Alone there. Please don't crash, game. It definitely feels like it might crash. Like... The, I haven't I haven't fired in so long. The pop shots are just out doing their business. There's kind of an infinite cycle going here, isn't there? Like I, I can barely fire. Yeah, pop pop has kind of ruined this run. I see where pop is. I could try and purposely get rid of it. Let me, let me wait until it's in location. Apparently the pop isn't taking any damage whatsoever. It didn't feel like it. Pop shouldn't send damage to it, right? Damn it, I lost perfection. With you, you big goober. I lost Mysterious Liquid as well, which actually might be a blessing in disguise, to be honest, like I said. Anyways, second phase. Damn you, Pop. Again, just, just hold off with him a minute. Okay, we, we got rid of Pop. We're all good. We're back to it. We lost quite a lot of different Wisps there. I don't know what we lost, but... I want to I, I want to see if we can do Delirium here. Ah, sadly not. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy that. That was a very fun run. I'll see you guys in the next one.